you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 22nd monday the feast of uh, the chair of st peter let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 19 now when jesus came into the district of caesarea philippi he asked his disciples who do people say that the son of man is and they said some say john the baptist but others elijah and still others jeremiah or one of the prophets he said to them but who do you say that i am simon peter answered you are the messiah the son of the living god and jesus answered him blessed are you simon son of jonah for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father in heaven and i tell you you are peter and on this rock i will build my church and the gates of hades will not prevail against it i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven the gospel of the lord praise ye lord jesus christ happy feast day my dear friends the gospel from saint matthew records a dramatic moment in the relationship between jesus and his disciples there at caesarea philippi an area which significantly was home to both jews and uh, gentiles and jesus begins by asking them what they heard people saying about him they gave various answers such as that he might be john the baptist or elijah jeremiah or uh, one of the prophets but jesus again asked but who do you say i am it is simon who speaks you are the messiah the son of the living god it was a very special moment for all of them up to this the man whom they had simply called rabbi or teacher was now acknowledged as no less than the messiah the christ the one anointed as a savior of king of israel in the play jesus tells simon that what he has said or not uh, simply his own words the revelation of god to himself flesh and blood did not reveal these things to him then there comes the solemn mandate and promise simon is now given a new name you are peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of the neither world will not prevail against it yes there is a play on the words peter and rock the word for rock in greek is a petra and peter is a petros there is an irony in the name which is because it carries more than one meaning for peter is called the, to be the firm foundation of the new community but before that happens he shows himself to be a stumbling block trying to frustrate the mission of his master in the first reading which is uh, from the second letter of st peter be how advice on how church authority is to be exercised peter speaks to community leaders as a fellow presbyter and as a one who has a personal witness of the suffering of jesus and against looking forward to share in his risen glory he tells them to take care of their flocks and as a good shepherds drawing them but not forcing them but not pursuing their own personal gain but with emphasis for their special being so the overall message of today's peace days of a generous and eager cooperation of all members of the christian community in building up the body of christ as a sacrament of the kingdom throughout the world amen happy feast day